Hey guys, Pennington79 here. Gonna bring to you guys today a very interesting video. So I'm gonna show you guys some Canadian made body armor. So uh, these are Canadian made uh, body armor plates. Uh, you can buy those from AI Tactical Solution. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. But yeah guys, uh, these are made in Canada and these are the most affordable plates that are made in Canada that you can buy. So I already unboxed it and I'm going to show you guys, I left one in the packaging just to show how it comes in the packaging. So it's got some nice bubble wrap, heavy duty, uh, you know, so some, uh, some packaging on there. So let's just open it up and let's just see how it comes from the box once you open it up. So we just cut through the, this here real quick and just flip that around. Careful not to cut myself and just open it up like so. Try not to damage the coating on the armor, which I don't really mind, but hey, it's body armor. It's made to be tough, right? So let me just unpack this one and show you guys how it comes that it's nice and bubble wrap sealed in there. So. And it is nice and thick material that it comes with. Here we go. So here you go, guys. Uh, the smell that comes from this packaging is kind of uh, not cool, guys. It's just it's some weird uh, rubbery smell. I mean, this is the coating that they put on there. So if you guys want to see some information in the back there, uh, serial number, blah, 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 disclaimer. Uh, yeah, guys. Uh, <laughs> couple of tests I did, uh, well not tests, but just some observation that I did uh, while uh, having this armor. Uh, this is made in Canada, all right? I'll show you guys the armor on the website right here. So this is on my tablet. So this is the website, which I'll leave a link in the description. But if you guys want to Google it, if you're in the market for getting some body armor in Canada. So uh, let me show you guys here. So this is a price for two plates. So $1.99 Canadian for two plates guys so these are the most affordable and they, they do this in batches so you can only buy those in batches uh when they whenever they are available for pre-order so i was lucky enough that they had some in stock so i ordered them but usually they do batch and uh, this is um you know product uh, pre-production and stuff like that so but it says proudly manufactured in canada level three plus Stops 308 uh, uh, M855 armor piercing, which that is kind of interesting because it's a hard hitting round. So anything that's fast, 762 by 39. So uh, one interesting fact here that uh, the weight 3.72 kilograms. So I measured that on my scale, and this is supposed to be eight point something pounds. And uh, these plates uh, that I've tested uh, are. 7.8 pounds so uh, a little bit less than the uh, than the rating there and another interesting fact these plates are 10 millimeter thick so uh, we'll measure it we'll measure the thickness right here so guys I have a small little caliper and I already did this test so I know how it's gonna turn out guys so small little caliper so I'm gonna push it all the way forward I'm gonna set it up and uh, let's measure the thickness on these all right so let us measure the thickness on these right now so if i squeeze it out so 8.75 millimeters and guys one thing that i'm going to say to you right here is this is with a coating on so these have coating uh, they have a coating and a layer of anti-spall, so it's not the actual plate itself that is 10 millimeter. Uh, when I first saw that, I thought it was going to be the plate itself. So now let's try to measure the thickness on the plate itself. All right. So if I squeeze my caliper here and I go here, so it's about six millimeter. So six uh, six point eight millimeter thick for the plate. So I was kind of hoping these were gonna be like 10 millimeters per plate, 
but no they're not 10 millimeters actually for the steel plates so that would have been awesome if the steel plate would have been 10 millimeters but now it's only 6.8 so it's kind of telling me um is it gonna stop you know actual bullets and stuff like that so i paid like 250 bucks for for a set of two with shipping so uh i don't know guys uh, there's nobody testing these especially these brand new armor uh, these new plates nobody has done any testing on them and i wish i could do some testing on them but i am really too poor to uh, be able to destroy 250 bucks so yeah guys um let me know in the comment if this is something that is uh, kind of disturbing to you or if you would trust your life to these plates uh, these are made in canada and just as a comparison guys i have a plate here that their original set of steel plates that they had that are made in china so these are strike face medium and you can see a lot thicker but um the thickness is due to a rubber like a yoga mat coating that they put on there so a lot thicker on these plates uh, than the actual plate itself so because of that rubber mat coating but i've weighed these two guys uh, and these weigh about the same so they say that this one is heavier and it would have been if it would be 10 millimeters of actual metal but it's not so uh yeah so it's uh it's kind of interesting guys so the only way that you can know for sure if these things are level three plus like they advertise and by the way guys if you're thinking about level three plus level three plus doesn't exist it's kind of something that uh armor manufacturers started doing because they could they could stop a little bit more than the actual level three uh, for steel plates on armor so level three plus doesn't exist per se it's just a extra that manufacturers armor manufacturers uh, started uh, putting on because they say it could stop uh, some uh, some a little bit heavier rounds and live it a little bit more threat uh, level rounds. so but yeah guys it's kind of um, it's kind of disappointing on the thickness of the plate itself that it's not the actual thickness and they have that proprietary coating that they put on there which is kind of weave so it kind of reminds me of um, of a resin not resin but uh fiberglass so it's kind of a fiberglass resin uh coating that they put on there so if it can stop the spall the spalling that's good but it is pretty thin guys uh i don't know how much spall this could stop but it's uh, kind of interesting so but yeah the thickness of the plate itself it's not the advertised thickness first of all and when they say thickness of the plate they should include just with the coating you know they, they shouldn't just say like 10 millimeter uh it kind of uh it kind of defeats the purpose of advertising a 10 millimeter plates uh because the plate itself it's is not uh a 10 millimeters it's six point something millimeters which is kind of uh, uh kind of disappointing to me so yeah guys i just wanted to bring you this uh, first look video on these plates so nobody has made any video on them they, there's no video nowhere on them so that's why i wanted to make a video just show you guys these plates what they look like uh just tell you guys about the weight uh, which the weight is not uh, as advertised also according to my scale so but you see the manufacturer date expiration date blah 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 although steel doesn't expire so that's just because they have to put like an expiration date on there but steel doesn't expire so these things are good for forever so but yeah guys i don't know which one i would be more secure on between the made in canada one and the made in china one so made in china guys if you didn't see my video i made a video on that a subscriber sent me some pictures uh, of him testing this particular model so this is the most affordable uh, level three uh, they say plus but it's more level three level three body armor steel plates in canada because these are 139 dollars for two plates so there's several sites in canada that sells body armor uh, one of them is can, uh, can armor or canadian limited armor or something can armor so they sell plates guys one plate that they sell that is like that made in canada level three plus 
or level 3 or level 4. Can Armor says it's level 4 for some of their steel plates, which I call bullshit on that because level 4 is able to stop like 308s, armor piercing and stuff like that. And steel plate don't do that. You need ceramics for that. So anyways, I'm rambling. But yeah, guys, um, these are the most affordable because like I said, Can Armor, they sell... Uh, Two, uh, one plate for $269 or $259, uh, $59, so um, kind of more expensive, guys. So around $250 mark for one plate. These, $199 for two plates. And even cheaper if you just want some basic armor protection and something that would be probably easily able to stop like pistol rounds and stuff like that. And like uh, some uh, some smaller caliber 45 handguns rounds, easily I think this would do it. So uh, for 139 dollars, if you just want basic protection, uh, go with the China made one. Uh, these I thought they were gonna be thicker in steel, so I would need to open up the uh, the, the uh, China ones and just make a small cut just to be able to measure the thickness on the armor. But if it's the same thickness, uh, at that point. I don't know guys but uh yeah I, I want to say guys uh this one i made a video of uh some viewers sending me some uh some testings on this and 223 uh m8 uh, just just uh, m193 so just uh 5.56 that are that is pretty fast just regular not armor piercing that m855 regular 22 uh 556 uh, went through at 25 yards. They did not go through at 50 yards, but at 25 yards or 30 yards, uh, they went through this armor. So, but kind of interestingly enough, uh, he tested I think some 308s or 30 yard six, and it did not go through. I think with the other cap, the, the bigger caliber at the shorter range, only 223 made it through. So, at that point, I'm saying, is it just? Uh, the armor itself, the heat treat, uh, the inconsistency in it. I don't know, guys, but it is still a big chunk of steel for 139 bucks. And right now, I'm kind of disappointed uh, that I purchased uh, the uh, the Made in Canada one uh, with supposedly better anti-spall coating and uh, some some thicker steel plates because the weight is the exact same as the China made one, and it is guys it is i don't know i don't know i mean i would need to destroy these plates and shoot them with some uh, you know i i got a kodiak i got i got multiple calibers that i can test this with but i just don't have the the money to just destroy these plates and just not the heart so uh if you know ai tactical solution wants to do their own video and just showing us how you know these plates are able to stop aim 55 at nij level distances because people it's not hard to google nij certification level for threat and distance shot and stuff like that so if they're wanting to make some video or if they wanted to donate plates to be able for people like me to do some testing i don't care if it's me or another youtuber just send them out out there so they can do people can do some testing on I know Can Armor has some testing on their plates. They have a YouTube channel, and they did some testing on these plates uh, and similar plates made in Canada. And they say their plates is level four, but eight millimeter Remington Magnum is able to go through these plates uh, pretty easily, guys. So yeah, so it's it's kind of all over the place in Canada for armor. It's just it's out there it's sort of affordable if you know where to look but i don't know guys uh, i don't know if these things are genuine if i don't think personally these things compare like like anything close to what they have in the states for uh, companies like ar500 or spartan armor so but you guys have my my thoughts on them i'm not too sure about them i i've you know i spend the money and I've spent the money on the previous plates, guys. So I have the China made ones and I have these ones. So uh, they're steel armor, they're heavy. Uh, not that heavy, I thought these were gonna be a little bit heavier, but nonetheless, uh, there's this weird you know, rubber smell on them and it's just, I don't know what kind of anti-coat that they have on there. If it would prevent spalling better than the uh, cheap, uh, 
one that is made in China so with their like a uh, rubber mat you can see there it's just like you're pressing down on it and it's just it's just flexing so and not, not for the steel it's just the rubber coating and the, the small rubber mat that they have on there so but these you know these basic plates 139 bucks compared to this at 199 uh, it's almost double the price because it's made in Canada and I don't know if it's better quality or if it's able to stop more rounds or stuff like that so uh, they have a nice logo and stuff on there <clears throat> I'm losing my voice here they have a nice logo and stuff and you know hop light and just level 3 plus on there and made in Canada and all that stuff but these are just stickers guys so I mean there's there's nothing special about these plates and the fact that they're not the thickness that they advertise uh, I mean it's just it, it's a nice chunk of AR 500 steel that's for sure if it is that so I hope this is AR 500 but it's a nice chunk of steel and I, w I wouldn't doubt that this would stop nine millimeter or a couple of pistol rounds but for rifle rounds I would be really interested to see the results on these guys so anyway guys leave a thumbs up if you like this video leave a comment down below if you have any questions on these and I just want to make a video because uh, you know these are out there you can buy some body armor in Canada still and what you should do is at least get yourself you know the cheap stuff if you just want some basic protection uh, not because it's gonna save your life just because uh, you can still purchase some body armor uh, right now in Canada so you can still have plates like these uh, plates made of uh, ceramic uh, you know different type level 4 level you can buy different plates in Canada guys and you should just buy them because I think they, they're gonna become illegal at some point and you won't be able to buy them anymore so this is why I bought some even though it's not the best it's not like in the states like AR500 or Spartan Armor with their AR550 steel uh, it's still it's still guys uh, better than nothing so in my opinion and at the price that AI Tactical Solutions sells them I mean it, it's not bad it's just that I wish that the uh, I wish that the steel plates itself would have been like uh, 10 uh, 10 millimeters instead of 6.8 something millimeters so uh, that that's just a little bit disappointing and you can you can see there the rubber coating on there and you can see the actual steel plates versus the uh, the entire spall so anyway guys this is my video for for these plates today so hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one